got fluff on me, brilliant. You monster. A psychic reading. It's the heavenly liquid. Good morning everybody. Well, it's not morning actually. It is in fact the afternoon. I've been busy uh, this morning working on admin stuff, clearing my inbox and starting editing the weekly vlog. Um, it's Monday today, obviously, and the sun is shining, which is great news because I have to go and shoot pictures for these sunglasses from Mary Jim. So they've contracted me to do a uh, hashtag paid uh, Instagram picture for these wicked sunglasses, the ones that we picked up the other week. I haven't tried them on with my fringe, actually. Do they still look cool? Oh, do you know what? I think they might even look cooler with a fringe. Um, but the problem is they want me to do a picture at sunset, because the whole theme is about winter sunsets, which is lovely if we have them, but we haven't seen the sun for about two weeks. <laughs> So it's been impossible to get the photos. So today the sun is shining. It looks like fingers crossed it's going to stay around. So um, I need to go out about sort of half past three, four o'clock and try and get that photo. So please wish me luck. That is the ultimate aim of the day, especially because it looks like it's going to snow for the rest of the week. So this is kind of my only chance. The struggles we go through for Instagram photos. Yeah, so there's been a whole hoo-ha this past week because the ASA, who are the Advertising Standard Agency, um, they've released some new guidelines on um, how we should all be disclosing content and stuff. Basically some big YouTubers and influencers and celebrities have had a gigantic uh, monetary wrap on the knuckles for not disclosing the fact that they had um, gifted items or adverts. I'm not gonna lie, some of them are absolutely bloody blatant. I mean, I noticed Emily Attic or Atac, I follow her on Instagram because I don't know, I just thought she was really real and relatable in the jungle. Um, I follow her on her Instagram and obviously she's gained loads of subscribers since being an I'm a celeb. Um, but the other day, like the past sort of few pictures she's had, she's had an outfit photo and tagged in the style and been like, this dress has just landed it in the style, it's amazing, go buy it no sniff of an advert or anything and it's quite clearly paid and it's stuff like that that annoys me because there's people like us that are genuinely honest and you know i'm proud to work with all the brands that i work with so if it's an advert i tell you and <laughs> that weirdo in the background um because i know that you guys aren't going to be like oh my god an advert because you're all sensible humans and you know that this is my full-time job so I've got to get paid somehow and also you trust me and you know that I only take on stuff with brands that I know and love so um, yeah it's frustrating for us who are already very transparent and honest um, because the new rules kind of just ruin the aesthetics of the content really because you have to basically say the first word has to be either ad or gifted um, and it just kind of ruins it because a lot of the stuff I walk around in has been gifted. I mean, nothing I'm wearing today, <laughs> my Primark joggers and a very old Primark um, jumper is gifted, but I got my hair cut, not the fringe, paid for that, but my hair cut itself is gifted because Helen does it for me um, when I go to Francesco group. So technically every selfie I post should be labeled as gifted and it's all, it's very confusing um, and it's just frustrating, I suppose, for just for the ones of us who are... Toby's destroyed a toy. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, it's just frustrating for those of us who have and are always honest and transparent to really have to go to this like extreme lengths um, to the point where it really does sort of ruin the captions, I guess. And it also patronizes you guys, I feel, a little bit. Um, you know like i feel like it's very patronizing sometimes anyway this has been a big old rant sorry about that um but yeah <laughs> this is all popped into my head because i was talking about those sunglasses and the fact that it's a an advert on instagram not an advert on here just have to take a picture for instagram oh that looks quite nice split there doesn't it loving this fringe loving it the sun is still out it's just photo shoot time i don't have enough hands to take this with me as well because i've got about five cameras but wish me luck photo shoot successful and so he enjoyed his run around the forest as well it's very very cold outside it's definitely gonna snow you can uh, the 
my temperature's dropped loads. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna edit those photos and send them over to Mary Jim so they can approve them. But if you'd like to see them, then make sure you're following me on Instagram at xmedix and you will see them on there in a couple of days, maybe a week, I don't know. I'm not sure when they wanna post them. Um, yeah, knackered. I was gonna go and do the food shopping, but can't be bothered, so I'm gonna eat out of the freezer tonight. Good morning everyone, please excuse my dishevelled appearance today, it's one of those mornings. Um, super busy today, just video editing and stuff, I've stopped for some lunch because I'm feeling a little bit shaky. Um, I, I've mentioned this before, uh, but I'm on um, Cerazet as my contraceptive pill and through that I don't get time of the month apart from really randomly, probably once a year I like just randomly get one. Uh, completely out of the blue, which is always fun. <laughs> and they kind of like floor me when they happen because obviously I don't have them every month. Um, and they can last for like a day up to like five days and you just never know, it's part of the fun. Uh, but I haven't had one for so, so long and I've come on this morning and I just feel like shit. <laughs> I feel like really pale and kind of like fainty. So that must be an iron thing. And uh, yeah, I just feel really bloody miserable. So um, it makes me grateful that I don't get this every month because mine used to be really, really bad, which is why I went on to Sarazette in the first place and it's worked wonders for me. But yeah, it just sucks that it's come on today. And I've just opened the cupboard and a shot glass fell out and tried to kill me. So that was, uh, that was fun, smashed everywhere. So I just had to clean all that up while my lunch gets cold, just in case um, Toby steps in any glass, but I managed to get it all up. And tonight I'm going to see Kinky Boots. Um, so I was meant to go and see Kinky Boots years ago uh, with my mum. We had tickets and then my mum had an accident on her push bike and we couldn't go. Um, but she's actually hurt her leg this time around as well so she can't come again. It's like a bit of a cursed play for her. So I'm taking my friend Naomi with me um, and it's at the Regent tonight. It's there for like a week. Um, and it's doing a tour around the UK. So if you want to see it and you don't want to go to London, it's doing a tour. So I'm going down tonight to review for the blog and I'm excited. It'll be nice. It'll get me out of the house because I kind of half just want to sit under a duvet, do my work and eat chocolate. But um, it will make me get showered <laughs> and do something with this and wash my hair again because it's gone super greasy even though I only washed it the other day. Um, and yeah, hopefully cheer me up a little bit. So that's the plan for the day, but I've got loads to get done before I go. So um, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Sorry I haven't vlogged much tonight, sack the blogger. Um, but we went to Kinky Boots and we got held up on the way, which meant we were literally running in with about two minutes to spare. And it was incredibly stressful, but we made it, which I genuinely didn't think we would. Um, and we were in our seats with, with time to spare, it was fine. And yeah, it was really lovely. It was a great night, very, very glittery. Loved it. I love the fact that it's based on a true story. Um, it's a really feel good evening and it's Naomi's favorite musical. She's seen it once before. So um, yeah, I'm so glad that I got to take her because she had a fabulous time. I've just dropped her off at the station and I'm gonna head home myself. I'm gonna go through the McDonald's drive through because I didn't actually have time to have dinner in the end. <laughs> uh, I grabbed like a sandwich from the petrol station which was the most depressing item of food I think I've ever eaten. Today has just been one of those days. It's just been crap. Like technology didn't work for me. The vlog kept crashing as I was editing it which made it take twice as long as normal. A few things sort of fell through um, a few things went wrong uh, with a couple of jobs and stuff that it wasn't my fault but it just kind of made things very difficult and yeah it's just been one of those days and I felt like shit so I'm gonna eat a burger and go to bed and we're gonna start again tomorrow good morning everybody happy Wednesday please excuse me I'm having a no makeup day today giving my skin a bit of a rest um, and I also haven't washed my hair. I've literally just been out with Toe because I didn't take my camera because it's chucking it down with snow. Um, and we just had a nice little icy walk this morning. Um, about to take some photos of my nails that I did yesterday. I don't know if you can see. Will it focus? Ooh, yes, they're so snazzy. Um, so I'm gonna take a picture of those for Instagram and then I'm gonna get cracking editing the Primark haul and the New Look haul that we're supposed to yesterday, but just couldn't because we had loads of technical difficulties. So hopefully today <laughs> will be a bit of a smoother day. Yesterday was just such a, a write off, but um, yeah, it still ended nicely with uh, a lovely trip to the theater and also a McDonald's, so I'm happy. <sighs> I've got fluff on me, brilliant. 
This house is honestly horrendous. It needs a hoover like never before. It needs a big old dust like never before. It is actually disgusting and I kind of just want to rip it all out and start again. <laughs> you ever get to that stage where you're like, you've ignored the cleaning for so long and you're like, yeah, I just need to blitz this. So maybe I might do that tonight. And we've got loads of vegetables in the fridge that need eating, so I was thinking about whipping up a little um, spicy vegetable soup just to use those up, and obviously it's really nice because it's super cold outside to have a homemade soup. But that's about it for my life today. I'm really sorry this vlog has gone up, off to a very boring start. Um, not a lot's happened. I haven't really taken you out much, but um, it's just the way it is. I'm sure it'll get more interesting later on in the way. It won't. I've literally got nothing going on. <laughs> Very exciting delivery today. Um, I am testing out some new merchandise for Bloom from the Darkness, including hoodies, which you guys have been asking for for ages. Um, I just wanted to order them just to sort of check the sizing and check the quality, see how warm they are. It feels super cozy so far. I got it in like, this lovely burgundy colour. I also bought it in grey. So I can see what the colour of the grey looks like. I've got myself another t-shirt because I've lost mine. I don't know where my white t-shirt's gone. And I kind of need my own merchandise. Um, also, phone cases. Very exciting. Wanted to check the quality of those. They come like Samsung, Apple, um, <clears throat> all the different styles of phones. So I'm going to pop that on my work phone and test it out, see how sturdy it is. And also my favourite, my favourite, favourite... Bloom from the Darkness mugs, ha! <laughs> Little enamel mugs, they're super, super cute. I really like it, very much like it. So I'm going to test that out with a coffee now. Um, all very exciting. I can't wait to actually launch these in the shop. Um, <clears throat> I think I might maybe play around with some designs for the phone case. Now I've seen the quality and I'm happy with it. Um, the mug is perfect. That can like go out today, to be honest. <laughs> That's like absolutely bang on the hoodies seem super super cozy but i'm gonna um wash test them just to see how well they wash and how well the transfer stays on and stuff um yeah i got i got the large which is really cozy but this is kind of what i like my hoodies to be like especially when i'm just wearing them around the house i don't want to be sitting in tight hoodies because uh, i can feel a bit claustrophobic sometimes so the large sits really well on me, but I might order a medium just to also see the size of that and maybe order it in black too and I can rock that at the gym. Um, and I'm also thinking of a long sleeve t-shirt too because it's super chilly, but um, I'm actually gonna possibly change the design on that, I'm not sure. Um, maybe just kind of have it over the pocket, but I'm not sure whether it will let me do that. So yeah, I'm just basically working on a few things and we'll see how it all goes, but very exciting. Keep your eyes peeled, make sure you're following Bloom from the Darkness on Instagram um, and I shall release it all there as soon as it's ready to buy. I'm also feeling very loved today because last night um, Naomi bought me this um, because when we did the bullet journal workshop, I said how much I really want to learn uh, calligraphy. So she bought me a, a calligraphy pen and then this book where you can basically learn how to do it. Learn how to use your pens. You can trace letters. There's also like a bit where it teaches you how to do it and you have to just do it on your own. It's exactly what I wanted. It's just, it's so thoughtful and yeah, it's just little things like this that really make you feel loved, don't they? Also, I'm just gonna preempt something um, because you guys always ask when I have shots with my nails in and stuff, how you do them, blah, blah, blah. Um, these are actually done with the reverse stamping method, which it's not gonna focus so you can't see, um, but it's a reverse stamping technique. It's something I've recently learned and it's super, super easy. I actually filmed one when I did my feather nails that went on Instagram the other week. So um, I will be editing that and putting it up. So if you wanna learn how to reverse stamp via me, you can do in a couple of weeks. If not, just have a look on YouTube. There's loads of videos, that's where I learn. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple way. Oh, I won't focus this bloody camera. It's a really simple way to um, get cute little designs like this um, on your nails and it's dead easy. So there's that. And there's also a few people um, that have been saying that my videos aren't popping up in their subscription boxes again. Thanks YouTube for making life difficult for us. Um, you basically now have to click the little bell next to the subscribe button um, down there because if you don't click the bell, sometimes it doesn't always show up in your sub box, which sucks because I've been producing some pretty good videos if I do so so myself. Um, so make sure you click the bell, otherwise you might not see my videos. And that is it. That is the uh, the admin update 
for you all. God, I look rough today. Nice hoodie. That's it, mate. Looks good. Should we do dog hoodies as well? Oh, yes, I think so. <laughs> what have you done to your doggo? <laughs> You've turned him inside out. You've eaten him and turned him inside out. That's terrifying. Poor little doggo. Hey? Poor little doggo. <laughs> you monster. This is the weirdest lunch I've had in a while, but it's the day before payday and there's no food in the house. So I'm just improvising with a sweet jacket potato, some beans, cheese, and a couple of eggs. I mean, Michelin style restaurant, this is not. Hey team, happy Thursday. Sorry I haven't spoken too much today. It's just been a busy, mad one of those days again. Um, tonight, I'm actually going to Selfridges. I've been invited along to an event there to get a psychic reading. And this is all very odd. This is something that me and Hot to Blizzy were speaking about a while ago, how we were kind of like interested in it, not 100% convinced by it, um, but intrigued. And if ever the opportunity came up to have a psychic reading, we both said that we would have one. Um, and the opportunity's come up, so we're going. And I'm really, really nervous, especially because the um, guy in India, when I went there, I had my palm read in um, India outside the Taj Mahal, and it was incredible. And he was so spookily accurate. And he also, which is actually quite funny, because... Uh, we've spoken about this before, he uh, predicted that um, an amazing man will, I, I will get a boyfriend basically between October and December and we all thought <laughs> that that was David but actually me and David got together sort of early September-ish, uh, maybe end of August. Um, I didn't quite like think about the dates but then Chris and I got together in November which is bang on the time where he said because obviously we thought we thought David was the guy and actually it turns out it was Chris really weird um so yeah I'm not sure how I feel about it all but I'm really excited so uh, I'm gonna dry my hair <laughs> and jump on the train and head over there and then also um, we're gonna pop into the launch of a new restaurant called Tattoo um it looks dead cool and they've invited us along for some cocktails and dim sum, which will be very, very nice indeed. So, um, a lovely evening of events. Um, and yeah, just in case I don't get a chance to speak to you and you just get like kind of panny footage, I have been invited to both of these events. Um, so, hashtag gifted. <laughs> So we've just had our fortune told, or our psychic reading, tarot cards I think it was. Um, it was quite interesting. What was your, you've got your 50-50. I think I'm 50-50 yes. as well. Maybe 60-40. Yeah, maybe 60-40. She was lovely, she was right about quite a few things, but then there was a few things that was like, no, that's not quite it. But um, I'm definitely, oh, you've fallen over. She only had one glass of Prosecco. Um, there's definitely a few things that I'm open to, but um, yeah, very interesting. So now we're going to head over to Tattoo and have some cocktails and dinner. Wow. But there's a magician wandering around here and he's just done some very crazy things with cards <laughs> and he's permanently marked Lizzie and he didn't even touch her and we don't know how it happened. Is this for real? <laughs> Hey team, happy Friday. So I'm just trying to balance this cup of tea on my knee while I turn it around. This could be a disaster. Oh, she's did it. Wow, that was tense. Um, it's Friday today. Thank goodness. <laughs> this working week has just been just a nightmare. My laptop is dying a death. Um, even though I've replaced the battery, it just keeps randomly turning itself off. I lose work every time. Um, my editing software, for some reason, halfway through the week, just was having a massive blip and kept shutting down every time I tried to add a new clip in. PRs have just been all over the place this week, not really holding up there end of the bargain, not giving me details that I need to be able to do my job. It's just been <laughs> one of those weeks so I'm actually really looking forward to the weekend and for this working week to be over last night was really good I don't know if I will be able to use the footage I tried to like fill you in last night but it was um 
there was lots of music playing in the background so YouTube normally wraps us on the knuckles for that so I'll give you a, the lowdown here. So we went to go and see the Psychic Sisters and that was interesting. It wasn't as interesting or as accurate as the um, old shaman Indian guy that I met outside the Taj Mahal. That was just an incredible reading. It was on a different level. Uh, this one was a tarot reading so it's where you shuffle the cards and pick three out and the universe will picks the cards that sh tell you about your life right now or whatever um, and I picked two new beginning cards apparently and she basically went on to tell me that I had got a couple of new beginnings in my life um, and now is a really good time for me basically she said works frustrating me at the moment because other people aren't uh, pulling their weight and it's slowing me down and I was like yeah that's exactly this week but you know there you go um, and yeah, she said that I'm vibrating at a re very good frequency right now, that I'm in the best place I've been in for so long, which is 100% true. And apparently as of April, my vibrations are gonna go up and I'm gonna soar and this is my year. So um, it was a very, very nice reading. I'm not sure, I didn't get like the same vibes as I got off the Indian guy as I, as I got off her. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, it was, um, it was interesting, it was interesting. Uh, I just liked the fact that the, the palm reader guy just literally looked at my palm and told me everything about me. Um, whereas this, it was kind of like centered around the cards that I'd pulled, but obviously, you know, it's completely random, or is it? And that's the whole point with tarot cards, isn't it? Some would say that it's random, some would say that um, it was meant to be that you picked those cards, etc., etc. So that was really interesting. They do some great candles and aura mists and uh, crystal stuff if you're into it they've, they've got a really nice shop online um, yeah we got some crystals uh, from them it was the goodie bags were given at random but I actually ended up with the two crystals that I've been drawn to the most recently when I've been doing my research like rose quartz and the black one whatever that is tourmaline is it I can't remember um, <clears throat> yeah I got those two which is odd because they're the ones that I've been drawn to so there you go uh, and some nice bath salts and stuff and then we went to tattoo which is a new restaurant that's just opened. I think it opens officially today. Um, and it was very cool, like very cool. So pretty, cherry blossoms hanging from the ceiling. Um, really nice drinks. We didn't get to try much of the food because we were a little bit late because our readings went on longer than expected. Um, but they did have a magician who literally baffled us. <laughs> I, I can't even, I, I just don't know how he did it and I don't want to know how he did it. It was just, it was amazing. So after that, um, I finished, it finished all about quarter to ten, Lizzie went home, she was driving. Um, Chris was in at Birmingham watching the Wombats, uh, watching a Wombats gig. I haven't been to a gig in ages, I should go to more gigs. Uh, he was watching the Wombats and he was going to be finished about half ten. So I thought, for the sake, and he was staying at mine, so I thought for the sake of us both going on separate trains and walking home from the station alone, whatever, I might as well hang around for a bit and uh, we'll get the same train back. So I took myself out for dinner. I went to Tamatanga, which is this Indian place that every time I walk past, I'm like, it smells so good, I need to try there. And I've never tried it yet. So I took myself in there, I had the tali, and it was honestly so authentic, it was amazing. Um, yeah, it was delicious, it just literally took me straight back to India. And I loved it, I just sat there, I did my social media post for the evening, I chatted to people on WhatsApp, I didn't have my book with me, otherwise I would have read some of my book. Um, and I just really enjoyed having dinner with me. Um, old me would have hated that, I used to hate eating alone. But now I actually quite like it. Like, as an occasional treat, going in, ordering whatever you want, having yourself a nice cocktail or a glass of wine or a beer, and just sitting down and having some you time. I think more people should do that more often. Uh, and at the end of that I had about 15-20 minutes to spare so I popped into Sainsbury's and, and Tesco actually because Sainsbury's hardly had anything left and picked up a few packet sandwiches and some water to hand out to the homeless guys and girls um, that were on the streets because it was so cold yesterday. My hands literally were burning when I got into the restaurant just from walking from like um, the station to Tamatanga because it was that icy and cold and I just thought how the hell are these people sleeping on the streets when it's like minus one minus two and snowing it's it was horrible so um, yeah unfortunately it wasn't that hard to find um, like four or five people that needed food on the street which always makes me really sad but they got some sandwiches and some water and then it was time to go and meet Chris and we got the train back and we caught up on our evenings and then went to bed and it was lovely. Just had a really, really nice night. Um, <coughs> very odd night. 
<laughs> just just an odd night but it was lovely it's really nice that we get to do these things um you know the pr events in birmingham are great and yeah it's nice because you get to do things that you wouldn't normally do so it is currently about 3 p.m i'm gonna go into town to the post office to post some bloom orders and i'm also gonna pop into primark see if they've got any more of those hoodies because it is so so cold and i've worn my bloom from the dock and it's one to death <laughs> so i'm gonna go and treat myself because it's payday to another one of those hoodies and maybe a pair of pjs because i just feel really low this afternoon this week has proper like beating me down um so i'm gonna go and treat myself to a little new pair of pjs or something or some cozy socks or something Ooh, but of a pico on a sunday night <laughs> it's the heavenly liquid and tell the internet why we're having a bottle of Verve Clico on a Sunday night. Well, I've permanently invaded your home. <laughs> you moved in together. Shame. happy Sunday so sorry I haven't really vlogged a lot this weekend I've actually had a very very busy weekend moving all of Chris's shit into this house so um, Chris lives currently or well did live oh weird um, I did live with some friends uh, renting a room from them but they're actually moving they told us like last month or so that they're moving up to Scotland so and they want to rent the entire house which just wouldn't be practical for Chris to rent so he'd have to find somewhere else to stay and to be honest he's kind of been living here for the past two three months anyway uh, that we just kind of figured it would make sense so um yeah we made it happen and he does the washing up and takes the bins out, so I'm happy. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I am just going through life right now, um, doing things that feel right on like a gut instinct kind of level. And this opportunity came up and we had a chat about it like a month ago and sort of sat down and we were like, well, would it be such a bad idea if you moved in here instead of getting your own place? Because genuinely, he spends all his time here because it's closer to work and because we just want to be around each other. Um, and it just kind of made sense, I guess. And to be honest, I've been living alone for the past two years and paying for bills when you're on your own is really tough. So even just from that level, like having someone moving in and helping out with the bills is really, really helpful. Um, and it just feels right. So we've, we've done it, we've gone for it. As far as society is concerned, being together, like knowing each other for six months and being together for three months is probably a little bit soon for um, moving in together. But to be perfectly honest, I did everything the right way, the way society says you should do it. And it all blew up in my face anyway. So I'm just going with the flow and this feels good right now. And you know what, if it doesn't work out, um, Chris can move out and I will still have my little flat and life will just move on. So <clears throat> yeah, this opportunity came up and it just kind of felt right. So we're going with it and uh, yeah. I'm very excited, although it has been a nightmare moving stuff, even though he's been very, very good um, and very strict with uh, getting rid of stuff. He doesn't actually have a lot of stuff. No, I'm not a hoarder. He's not a hoarder, though. he's just a typical boy, there's not a lot of stuff and it's all fit in very, very nicely and I haven't had to give up too much of my space, which is always good. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really good weekend, but a busy weekend moving boxes, so sorry I haven't chatted to you. Um, but that's that, I have decided to share it with you. I, to be honest, <clears throat> I was half and half as to whether to actually put it in the vlog. Um, I could have not said anything about it. And then maybe, I don't know, six months down the line when society deems it more acceptable, could have then said, oh, Chris is moving in. But that would have been a lie. And we don't lie on this channel. Um, so yeah, I decided to just be honest and just let you know. Because to be honest, you probably notice he's here pretty much all the time anyway. And uh, Toby likes having him around, I must admit. I think Toby loves him more than he loves me, so that's great. But yeah, it just it just feels right. And we live really well together, as we've proved the last sort of two, three months. And yeah, just very happy right now. So anyway, I'm going to go and drink my champagne. We're going to watch a film together, snuggle up, and spend the night together for the first time living as a couple. Are you just hiding outside that door? No, I'm in the kitchen. Oh, why? Uh -huh. You're hiding in the kitchen. <laughs> 
so yeah if anybody has I'm sure there'll be lots of people out there thinking this is too soon I must give them my opinion um please don't because there's just no point if you kind of pass on your opinion it won't actually solve anything you you look like such a creep there <laughs> slowly creeping in <laughs> Um, if you do give your opinion, it won't change anything. He's not just going to automatically leave. The only thing it could possibly do is potentially just annoy or upset me. So just think about that, I guess. You, you're more than welcome to say, I told you so, um, if it doesn't work out further down the line. But just for now, let's, let's keep it positive. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. What do you think, Tobes? I think Toby's just happy because he's got someone else to play with all the time. <laughs> Someone else to feed him and clean up his poops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go drink our champagne and uh, celebrate moving in together. Shame. 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 Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm sorry it's been a really uh, boring vlog this week, uh, but next week is exciting. I'm in London for two of those days um, on jobs, so hopefully I'll be able to film a bit for you. And yeah, I'm sure there'll be something else exciting going on, better than this week, anyway. So. If this is the first vlog you've watched, sorry. Uh, please do come back next week. Right, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Bye! Slange, as slange. in flange. I'm going to get a fringe. Oh, it really hurt. Mm. Woo!